Hello again, it's Rossen from Tactical Performance Center and it's time to get over the Tactical Hive to present you the next quick practical shooting drill. The next drill, it's a uh, multiple targets engagement with multiple shots. Now, what's the reason? What's the practical purpose of that exercise? Sometimes there will be multiple bad guys. Now, pay attention that from a tactical perspective, you will engage only a, a target that it's an imminent threat. You already assess it like an imminent threat. So let's say for that particular scenario, you already have two bad guys. You already assess that both represent an equal threat and they represent the equal tactical priority. What that means is, you know, both guys can be relatively in an equal distance and they are armed with the same level of weapon. So they present the equal tactical priority. At that point, what you need to do is to draw your gun as quick as possible and to engage quickly, at least once, each of that guys. Why? Because a bad guy with a little lead in his body is way better than a bad guy without it. What I mean is, if you stuck with one of the bad guys and you narrow your focus to engage until you completely neutralize, you're given so much time for the other guy actually to make a very precise and accurate shot. And at that point, he will engage you and the chances for you to survive with that situation decreases significantly. So you need to give some love to the other bad guys first, then you reassess and if it's necessary to re-engage the highest potential of threat. Now, let's see how that will look live fire. All right, this is how it looks live fire. And now let gives you that quick tips how to improve your performance. Now, what is very important? First, it's the vision. And what the vision is supposed to do, uh, it's uh, the eyes and the focus, especially when you're shooting iron sights, need to shift really quick. Target sights, target sights. Now, when you're shooting a red dot, the gun with the red dot, you don't need to do that kind of an action that we call the focal yo-yo because that focus, eye focus, is doing that back and sides and forward to the target and back to the sides. Uh, that's a good news. Red dots, you can keep your focus all the way back to the targets because the dot is projected on the same focal plane. Now, the other thing in order to be very effective and very efficient in that fast target transition as at the moment that you finish your business with the first guy and you decided to transition to the next one, eyes are quicker than the head and the head is quicker in the body. Always look first with the eyes to the next target and the sights or the gun will come second. Now, the, tr the third key point is make sure you never leave the gun or the sights outside of your peripheral vision. Think about that the quick lens, your vision is attached to your sights with invisible bungee cord. So the vision will drive the gun just in a minimal distance behind until it fixes and align on the next target. That's a very, very important tip in order to do a very quick transition from target to target. The next thing that is very important is to preserve your natural point of aim and to keep your body square to each target that you're planning to engage. Uh, how we'll do that? Actually, we'll discover and we'll disguise the big secret in later on in our video series. So give it a try. And if you like the content, like and subscribe. Till the next time.